Hi there, my name is Devin Knight and I'm here today to introduce you to one of our new courses called Copilot in Microsoft Teams. So you likely have seen we have many Copilot classes at Pragmatic Works, but this one today is going to be focusing in on the Teams capabilities that Copilot provides. So hopefully you're excited. I'm sure you're an avid Teams user already. And in this class, we're going to be exploring those specific features that Teams has integrated with Copilot. So what are some of those things that you can do? Well, if you uh, are like me and oftentimes, unfortunately, late from meeting to meeting, maybe you have back to back meetings and you're just struggling to kind of keep up. And sometimes you end up late to meeting number two because meeting number one ran late. Well, some of the really neat things that you have with Copilot is when you turn on transcriptions with inside of your meetings, you have the ability to get recaps, catch me up on a meeting that I'm late for. So if you're five minutes late, catch me up and you can say recap what's happened in the meeting so far. And it can tell you something like just uh, so far introductions have been done between each of the people on the meeting. You can also have Copilot be a note taker for you and capture some of the key points and even action items that are that have evolved from the meeting that you're attending. You can even have Copilot create ideas and pros and cons lists and generate questions that you can ask individuals with inside of the meetings. You can ask things like more sentiment analysis, like, hey, what is Sandra worried about based on the discussion we've had so far? What are some of the concerns that Alex has? What are things that um, uh, uh, Sandra's really excited for? So you can ask things like that, and based on what Copilot finds, it'll produce results and kind of give you summaries or give you additional questions that you can ask those that are attending your meetings. You also have the capability to integrate Copilot within the chats that you have with the individuals you work with. So if you're having a conversation inside of Teams with your boss, for example, and you want to write a message back, you can use Copilot to change your tone of your message to be more professional or to make your message more concise or perhaps make it longer. So there's things like that you can do as well. We're also going to explore in this class how the Microsoft 365 Copilot integrates into Teams as a separate app that you can add. So we'll be looking at that app very briefly. We're going to have a separate class on the Microsoft 365 Copilot that's a standalone Copilot, but we're going to also show you the integration that it has with inside of Teams as an app. So lots of great things to show you. I think Teams is one of the uh, areas of uh, Microsoft where, where Copilot really shines. And so we're excited to show you what you can do uh, in Copilot or really in Teams with Copilot. So I encourage you to join me. I'm, hopefully you can tell my excitement about it because I really think it's a really fun tool to integrate with and interact with. So I look forward to sharing this class with you and look forward to you joining me. Thank you so much.